today we have our brothers that are about to load one of our bulls into the kettle trailer to go for butchering. So we'll watch what they're doing. Some of our cows right here. We're gonna take this big white bull right here. We're gonna put him on the truck, and we're gonna go, we're gonna butcher him. Have y'all seen the prices of hamburger meat? Wow. But yeah, uh, we here at Straightway, this community, about probably about three to four months, we'll be able to eat off of this one bull right here. So we're out here uh, getting ready to, I guess the old saying go rustle him up and put him on the cattle trailer. And we got a lot of good cow patties out here for compost for the garden. So we'll be out here um, with a wheelbarrow and a shovel gathering up all this manure.
like stop it for a minute and then when we get him back up there again start filming. You got it over there? Come on, Tug. Come on. Boy, y'all ain't went through that cow lick, didn't you? Give me some more feet. Chew that up first and take your mouth, right? <laughs> you know what? Do you think you're about ready? Yeah, I can try. Not yet? Uh, okay. That's good, man. Four months. <laughs> All right, come on, rush y'all go. Come on, move on. 
Go on back. Get on back. Yeah. Yeah. Get back. Go on. Go on. Go on. Of course, man, if you look in this field right here, too, where they've been eating hay and stuff, we're going to use that and put it on our um, compost being back there to decompose uh, to put it on our garden. That's called compost when it gets finished decomposing. Make some of the sweetest, nicest, organic food that you ever ate. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But with the price of hamburger, the way it is today, we can't afford to go out there in them stores and buy that. How much is that hamburger out there in the store, honey? 289, 389. For what? A pound? Lean beef. Lean. Oh no. So we got tubs right here. The rest of these are black angels. And so whenever that we need beef for the community, because they we got about four of them um, that bred here, we'll give them time to grow up. And then our calf here towards the end of the year, or these are probably going to come in again this summer. And then, of course, they'll grow up, and then we'll keep a perpetual uh, meat for our market. Now, Elder Doug is uh, getting ready to go up there and take what Brother Rich is. He's down the road. And we're going to cut them up and butch them up there. We're going to hang them up for a couple of weeks. Let the meat, you know, um, do some drying out, a little bit of curing. And then we're going to butcher it up and put some steaks in the um, freezer for us. So we just thought we'd let y'all people in YouTube know uh, what, you know, the mindset we should be having. Now, I'm a city boy. Um, and I've been living in the city all my life. I've only been living out here the last, um, how long, 14 years? 13 years, 13 years, something like that. My wife's better with these times than I am. That we've been li actually living on this community, but we started a couple years before that. And so what we're doing now is um, uh, we're preparing for these end times. And so um, that's why we try to give you examples of what you should be doing too. It's a change of mind. It's a change of mind. Of course, now, uh, Elijah's after our goats. That's our two stud goats, one of them right there. Um, and we, we've been eating goat milk and stuff. They're going to put them in here so he can eat some hay. we got to go get some hay, too, uh, to finish feeding the rest of these black ants. Anyway, there ain't no more feed. We should get y'all some feed, though, sir. Hmm? Should get y'all some feed, though, sir. Hmm? All right. Listen. Now, we raised that cow ever since this ca it first came out. And so now it's up to the point now where it's time to eat them. And that's what we're going to do. As a matter of fact, that's where y'all um, hamburger meat and meat comes from when y'all get in the store. Except the difference with ours is, is that we know what's in it. Um, everything we've had on our fields, uh, we have had no chemicals on our fields, so our, our cows don't have any chemicals. Everywhere they graze, nothing that they eat has chemicals in it whatsoever at all, including the feed that we give them. And so they're, um, right now they're in a... Um, doing a whole lot better than that stuff that you got in the stores that's full of chemicals um, that you know that also um, helps the children to grow up real fast and you know which it's a sad thing what they're doing to our society but yeah we've actually bought it so yeah getting back to simple living is the way that it should be